2004, I was just playing football and a couple of kids came by and they just wanted to play with me because there's this uncle playing alone, you know. Uh, so they just said, can we join with your uncle? Then it just started like that and they kept following their game. They started calling me coach. It's 2004. And from there they asked me, coach, I'm not going to play in the team. Coach, I'm not going to be next day in the club. 2005, we're in the club. No training, no coaching experience, nothing. Just a play. Fast forward 2007, by God's grace, I, I go to a leadership school where soccer is the main tool. I didn't know there's so many, like my world was turned upside down. Really. God birthed something in me at that, at that place. And I'm now starting to formalize this thing of being in sports ministry. 2004 to 2018. I'm standing here, I'm a very proud father. Uh, this, is, this is Maso, uh, Maso. Uh, he's, my, he's my son, man. He's my son, and I love him very much. Um, and uh, uh, I come a long way with him, a very long way. Uh, so he's, yeah, he's part of me. See him uh, as, a, as a small boy, seven years old, eight years old. Uh, played soccer for a long time with me. Uh, I seen him uh, in his life, in general. Um, and he's just come into a stage now in his life where he's really stepping into being a, a young leader. Uh, his way of, 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 of seeing me, seeing, seeing the other children, seeing himself, uh, seeing his role in his family and seeing his role in the community. I'm so excited uh, as a father and as a coach um, to what God is doing in his life. And, um, coach play a big role in my life because um, before I played for him, um, I did, my father wasn't around. So coach played that part in my life um, and I really appreciate it. Um, Coach is like um, someone who, who boosts your confidence because if your, conf your confidence is um, low, a coach is always the one who can uplift it and make you play better and change your perspective. And I have learned this week about the role of a coach, that a coach can be a father, a teacher, um, a coach can be different things in life. This is a God-given grace, I can call that, uh, to be in a, in a child's life like Maso, and, and not just teach him football, <laughs> just for him to, to be like, I, I know who I am, because somebody recognizes me, somebody values me, somebody thinks I'm special, somebody believes I've got something <laughs> to give as a player, as a person. I see the way coaches um, um, talking to other kids. Um, he needs the help, so I'm I'm, tr I'm trying my best to like help coach in the way I can. Um, he's already started doing some <laughs> some coaching. I mean, just from seeing what I do, being with me and, and being coached by me, and just his willingness to apply what he knows without being coached, without having come to a course like this. I mean, I just thought he's just ready. I mean, one of the things I mentioned to my wife yesterday was, <laughs> I mean, it's the first time he comes to a track coaching, but the other people have actually picked up that he, his level of, of comprehending and connecting with the situation and his ability to absorb and willingness to apply. It's so amazing that he's in, he's in the same level as I am, as his coach and his brother. So that already says a lot. Looking forward in terms of the plans uh, that we have for the for the academy, uh, for the club in terms of developing young coaches as young leaders, as influencers. So my first question was, Maso, what is breaking your heart? He said, children, 15 years old. Children are breaking my heart. Young people are breaking my heart. Why, Maso? I spend time with them. I see I see guys with no hope. They look lost. These are not my words. There's no role models. They don't talk about issues. 
their lifestyles are healthy, they drink, they smoke, they party. I've never had this pleasure of someone who says, my heart is breaking. Because I, I, my philosophy is if my heart is not breaking, I am going to be in your space. I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to put my body in the line of the bullet for you. The reason why I picked him up for this, for this week to be here is just his, his heart for the young ones and his readiness, his willingness, his serving, serving attitude. And, uh, and uh, this was just a great opportunity to have this uh, track level training, uh, just to empower him, to equip him, to give him the tools that he needs on the ground. I'm excited uh, about what I've seen God do in his life, uh, where God is at, at with him and how I see the, the vision that's going forward um, for him.